Okay, this one works. Uh, I think I need more parts. Yeah, got all the parts, yeah. Did you know how they go together? Now that we have a very weirdly shaped frame, I need to start attaching components to it in a very precise order, which I cannot remember, but I'm almost certain that this wheel in here is the first one. So let's get to it. And that's how you drill to size 256 holes. 8 channels, 32 notes per channel. Those made me great. There is a belt on each side of the cylinder, obviously there has to be a belt on each side. But right now I'm not sure about the belt length, where the motors are going to be, the rest of the parts. So we are going to leave it beltless for now. Bear with me. Spinning cylinder challenge complete. Next! I've been waiting for this moment for a very, very long time. And this took ages to design and it has lots of details that you can see. For example, inside of every channel, there are four grooves for the marbles to roll on and lots of other stuff. So let's attach this to the frame. But before we attach them to the frame, a quick ad from Altium Designer. Altium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. It enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every phase of the electronics design process. 
over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Altium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. And a great Altium Designer feature that has become critical recently is that it allows you to manage your components, get real-time supply chain data, and access millions of ready-to-use parts, all in one secure location. So, for a free Altium Designer trial, click the link in the description. And now, let's take care of those marble droppers. The eight marble droppers for the eight channels are installed, so let me try to explain to you now what I'm trying to do. Trying. So, when a marble gets to this channel in here, I will explain to you later how a marble gets to this channel in here. Whenever it finds a hole, it drops through that hole. <laughs> there are many things to fix. And it rolls down up to the marble release mechanism and it drops. This part in here is in an incline, this part in here is higher than this one, which means that when one channel is full, if the last marble sheets flush, the next one skips this pipe in here and goes to the next hole, if it is free. But if the next marble isn't flush, this next marble gets trapped in here. And that's why there is all of this adjustment in here. If you loosen this screw in here and wiggle it a bit, you can bend this part in here and that way you can change the length of the pipe that holds the marbles, leaving all of them flush. Hopefully. I have zero confidence on this working at larger scales because I, I want to make the machine at least 44 channels and these are only 8 channels. Doesn't look too reliable, but I, I will continue assembling the rest of the systems of the machine because I want this to be a miniature version of a full one. So let's continue. This is the marble lift completed and now I need to find a way of getting the marbles in and out of it. So let's see if I can pull it off.
this channel in here doesn't have the proper incline. The marbles should roll this way, but they don't. So I need to lower this entire part in here a bit. I added a new link and this should slide right down. So I mentioned before that I need this to be lower and now I need this to be like higher because if not the, the balls instead of falling in this part in here that will hold the, the marbles, they roll over and fall. Marbles won't go where they should go. <laughs> so I will use some spacers that I just printed and see if that fixes the issue. It's, it's a quick, quick fix. The marble lift, as the rest of the parts of the machine, sort of works. It lifts the marbles. So now it's time to put a motor on it, which means that I will have to remove half of the things that are on the machine. But that's how it is. So let's see if we can make it move by itself. <laughs> I've just realized that I made a huge mistake. Let's see if you can spot it. <laughs> ah. The marble lift is spinning the other way around. I remember when I was designing it that I, I just planned on lifting the marbles on the other side, which would have made it work. And I don't remember why I decided to swap it to this side but forgot that the, the rotation direction was going to be wrong. <laughs> forgot about it. So give me, give me a second, I need to think of a solution. <laughs> ah. I know, that's not how it's supposed to work, but it does work. So I will leave it like this for now because <laughs> there are a lot of things to fix in this machine and go to the other side and install the motor. See, there is something in there.
There is a motor, there are belts, everything is more or less in its place. So let's see if it spins by itself. Well, it spins. Let's see if it can move some marbles. Well, it seems that it spins and moves some marbles, but it makes no music. And although you and I know that I know nothing about, <laughs> I know nothing about music, I will try to get some nice noises out of it. So let's put in here the missing part. So, who's ready for some notes? And again, I know nothing about music. These are just going to be sounds. It kind of works, right? And of course, there are many, many issues in this machine. The lift flexes when it's lifting many marbles at once. This rubs in here. I had to shim this with a nut. This, this, this is not how it goes. These bolts tend to get caught on the levers. Sometimes marbles can get through here. If you hit this too fast, sometimes it doesn't load a new marble. If you adjust this too far out, it touches with the drum and lets all the marbles loose on the machine, as many other parts of the machine. And if the rate of success of the machine is measured by the amount of marbles in the floor, depending on how you look at it, I've been very successful or, <laughs> or a complete fail. But these, these are all solvable and you can blame all of them on me trying to design and build all of this at once without doing any testing. Of course. I think this is the prettiest thing that I've ever built and I, I, I didn't have this much fun in a really, really long time. And then there is, of course, the elephant in the room. The MMX and Martin from Wintergatan. And, well, this is kind of his fault. I watch all his videos, I love Wintergatan's music, and, of course, this is inspired by the MMX. But this is all designed from scratch by me and I, I'd like to keep it that way. Take it as two madmen trying to reach the same point through two different paths. This is my path. 
And I really like to go mad with this, like many more channels, many different ways of lifting the marbles, go all in. So I like your feedback. Please leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. I don't usually ask for it, but I think in this case, we need to communicate. Do you want to see more of this? And well, that's it for this video. Thanks out to all my Patreons because <laughs> who can do this? So thank you. And now please go and make something.